Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about iPhone 12 on the iOS 18 version. iOS 18 is finally here. Apple has released iOS 18 for all of you guys, everyone. iOS 18 is officially out today. I'm so excited and I know you guys are as well. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification if you haven't already because I keep on making these type of videos for you guys and I don't want you guys to miss these. Let's review and talk about iOS 18 on the iPhone 12. Is it worth installing or not? All right, first of all, let's start up with the performance. And before starting up with that, let me tell you guys that I have been using the iOS 18 on my iPhone 12 and all of my iPhones for the past couple of weeks, actually months at this point, but the RC version has been out for about a week. So this is basically the official version that developers get before you guys. So I have been using the iOS 18 official version on my device for a rough part of week. So I have a good experience with it to share it with you guys and tell you guys that is it worth updating or not? Let's get right in today's video. The performance on iOS 18 on iPhone 12 is actually pretty darn good. I did not expect it, the performance to be this stable and this good. Performance is surprisingly amazing on the iPhone 12. I have not really had any hiccups or any issues as such. The performance is probably on par with the iOS 17. So in terms of performance, you won't really expect anything good or bad in terms of that. It will be about the same as it was on iOS 17. Then talking about the battery life, the battery life is actually average. It is not the best, but at the same time, it is not too bad compared to earlier iPhone 12 has always been a device which has been really bad in terms of battery life. I mean, from the first day itself, I have never had good battery experience on my iPhone 12. But yeah, right now I'm getting about five and a half hours of screen on time when I'm using it outside. And on Wi-Fi, I'm getting uh, roughly six and a half to seven hours if I use it lightly. In terms of battery life, I would rate it uh, about seven out of 10. Then talking about the overheating issue, iPhone 12 has been overheating these days. I have had a lot of issues in terms of overheating and all, especially on iOS 18 betas. But guess what, on iOS 18, in public version and the RC that I'm using right now, that is not an issue. The overheating is not here now. It is a really great news that iPhone 12 is not overheating. I mean, it is obviously heating, but it is not overheating like it was earlier when the phone was just slowing down. It was getting so heated up that you can't even hold it properly in your hands. So yeah, that issue is now finally resolved. So don't expect your device to heat up like crazy on iOS 18. That's a good news. Then talking about Apple intelligence. Now, Apple intelligence, if you are not aware about it, AI features of iOS 18, those are really nice and cool. But sadly, those features are not available on iPhone 12 as well. Those are only exclusive for the iPhone 15 Pro and above. But other features like the iOS 18 new control center and the dark themed icons, all of that things work amazing on the iPhone 12 and you won't have any issues using the other features of iPhone 12 on iOS 18 like the new photos app is here with new features. Then there are new things like the new Apple News app. Then there is more new things in the settings. The settings layout is a bit tweaked. Then if you deep dive on the iOS 18, you will notice that there are more changes in the control center itself. Control center is three page now and you can customize the control center in every possible way. So yeah, there are a lot of features on iOS 18 that are working completely fine on iPhone 12. And I don't think so that there are any features that are not working properly except for the apple intelligence feature everything of ios 18 works perfectly fine on the iphone 12 and i don't think so that you guys are going to have any issues using the ios 18 on the iphone 12. now jumping on to the conclusion should you install the ios 18 on your iphone 12 or not the answer is yes definitely it is a really great update and uh, definitely the stability and reliability of this update is pretty good as well i'm actually surprised how good this update has been for me because i have been using it on the beta one 
like since the first day it has been released in the betas i have been using it since then and i have had zero issues like literally zero issues of course i have had these small bugs here and there but that does not mean for this update being a beta it has been really good and i've had never had this problem that i have to restart my device or do any such thing so in general the update is really good and polished it is really amazing but yeah it does take up a bit of a storage so if you are using an iphone 12 for example my iphone 12 is of 64 gigabytes so i am short on storage and after updating my device from ios 17 to 18 i did realize that ios 18 takes noticeably more storage on my device so there is that which you should probably keep in mind if you a low on storage other than that ios 18 is a really cool and nice new update with a lot of new features and changes on iphone 12 it is performing fabulous and i definitely do recommend you guys to install this update on your device but still if you do want to wait wait for some time ios 18.1 is going to come up soon which will be even better in terms of battery life because i think battery life is probably the only place where the iphone 12 is kind of struggling but overall it is a great and solid update you should definitely install it and i know you guys are really excited and most of you guys have probably even installed this update and then watching this video thank you so much for watching this video enjoy ios 18 on your iphone 12 and i will catch you guys in the very next episode peace out and have a great day everyone